How Women Sexually Flirt With You, Signs Most Men Miss. Leave a like on the video and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new tips. Hey, it's Pamela Raquel back with another dive into the intricate dance of flirtation. Have you ever wondered if there's a secret code, an alluring dance of words and gestures that slips under the radar of most men? Well, there actually is. Women, often masters of subtlety, have their unique ways of expressing sexual interest, leaving traces of their desires in the simplest of interactions. Unfortunately, these signs often go unnoticed. But today, we'll decode these often missed cues, highlighting the discreet ways that women sexually flirt. And by the end of our journey, you will be well equipped to pick up these hints, ensuring no gesture, no matter how slight, escapes your notice. Ready to unlock a new level of understanding? Yeah, you are. Let's dive in. Teasing physical challenges. Be it a game of pool, a dance-off, or arm wrestling, it can be her way of flirting by facilitating physical closeness. It's a fun and light-hearted approach to break down barriers and establish trust. These activities not only allow for innocent touching but also create shared memories and moments of laughter, amplifying the connection between both of you. Suggestive remarks. Women often use verbal cues to signify their attraction. These can take the form of playful innuendos, comments laced with double entendres, or simply compliments that have a flirty tone. For instance, comments about how someone looks hot in a particular attire or teasing remarks about intimate scenarios can hint at underlying desires. If she's dropping these comments frequently, she might be expressing more than just casual interest. Intentional voice lowering. Voice modulation is a part of seduction. When she intentionally speaks in a softer, huskier tone, especially during one-on-one -on -one conversations, it might be a signal of flirtation. This lowering of voice creates a more intimate atmosphere, drawing you into a private world where only the two of you exist. Frequent touches on erogenous zones. Touch is a potent indicator of interest. If she's frequently brushing or lightly touching sensitive areas like her neck, collarbone, or thighs when you are around, it could be a way to draw attention to these zones. This action, especially when combined with sustained eye contact or while discussing intimate topics, can be a clear sign of flirtation. Seductive glances. The eyes often speak louder than words. If she's shooting you fleeting yet intense glances accompanied by a sly smile or a slightly bitten lip, it could be a telltale sign. These glances, especially when they linger just a moment longer than usual, can be laden with meaning, indicating a heightened level of interest or desire. Prolonged hugs. Physical touch can reveal a lot about someone's intentions. If she's hugging you and holding on to you just a tad longer than what would be considered casual, it could be a sign of deeper affection. The extended duration, feeling the warmth of her body pressed against yours, can be her way of conveying a sense of intimacy and attraction. Intimate dancing. Dance is one of the most primal forms of expression, and it can be incredibly revealing. If you find yourselves in a setting with music and she moves close to you, allowing for body-to-body -body contact or swaying in a manner that's intentionally seductive, she might be trying to communicate her attention non-verbally. Sharing sexual anecdotes. Open communication about personal desires or past experiences can be a sign of trust and comfort. If she's sharing such intimate details with you, it might be a way of gauging your interest or even indicating her own. This level of open dialogue can foster deeper connection and hint at a heightened level of sexual attraction. Inviting you to private spaces. One of the more direct hints is when she invites you over to her place or suggests a secluded spot for the two of you to spend time together. Such an invitation isn't merely about the physical space, it's about the intention to share a private moment or to be in an environment with fewer distractions and more intimacy. Accidental body brushes. Physical touch, even the most fleeting, can be a very telling sign. If you notice she often finds reasons for her body to accidentally make contact with yours, whether it's her hand brushing against your arm or her leg touching yours under the table, it could be her way of exploring a connection. Sending provocative pictures. In the digital age, flirting isn't confined to face-to-face -to -face interactions. If she's sharing photos that are on the sensual side, whether it's a new outfit she's trying on or just a casual snap with a sultry pose, she's likely craving your attention and reaction. Open discussions about fantasies. Candid conversations about intimate topics can be a strong indicator of her interest. If she feels comfortable discussing her fantasies, likes, or things that she's curious about exploring, it might be a hint that she's imagining or hoping for a shared experience. Pheromone perfumes. 
The scent of power can't be underestimated when it comes to attraction. If you notice she's wearing a particular perfume more often around you or she mentions wearing pheromone-infused perfumes, this might be her way of trying to draw you in. Proximity to your lips. When she leans in during a conversation, placing her lips dangerously close to yours, it creates an electrifying tension. This intentional closeness often feels like a kiss and it's just a heartbeat away. It's an intimate gesture, one that heightens the moment's intensity and shows a desire to bridge the gap between friendship and something more. Revealing clothing choices. If she's picking out outfits that showcase her assets, especially on occasions when she knows she'll be around you, it could be a strategic choice. It's essential to note that a woman's attire is her personal choice, but in combination with other signs, it might be a hint at a desire to catch your attention. Invitations for late night meetups. When she suggests hanging out during the late hours, especially when the world is quieter and more intimate, it's often a hint that she's hoping for more personal encounters. These moments, shrouded in the night's tranquility, offer a perfect backdrop for deeper connections and shared secrets. Drawing attention to her lips. The mouth is one of the most expressive parts of our face, and drawing attention to it is a time-honored tactic of flirtation. If she's frequently applying lip gloss, biting her lips, or using her fingers to touch them during a conversation with you, she might be trying to draw your gaze there. Explorative touch. Touch is one of the most straightforward ways of communicating interest. If she's finding reasons to explore your physique, such as feeling your biceps or tracing your back, she's not just admiring your body but also expressing a desire to get closer. These touches, while seemingly innocent, can be charged with intention and curiosity, signaling a heightened level of comfort and attraction. Mentioning being alone. When she hints about being home alone or expresses a desire for company, this is a clear indication she wants to spend time with you in a more private setting. These mentions, while casual, reflect a deeper longing for intimacy and connection. And by sharing her solitude, she might be inviting you to bridge that gap and join her for more personal moments. Explicit compliments. While generic compliments about one's looks or outfit are common, more explicit praises target specific parts of your body or highlight particular mannerisms. If she comments on how she loves the curve of your jaw, the strength in your arms, or the way that you smirk, she's observing you closely. These detailed, flirtatious compliments show not just appreciation but also a deeper level of attraction. Mirroring your movements. This is a well-known psychological phenomenon that when people are attracted to or feel connected with someone, they often subconsciously mimic their gestures and postures. If she's mirroring your movements, it's a sign she feels a connection. But when done with a touch of sensuality, like the subtle arch of her back or a gentle tilt of her head, she's not just mirroring, she's accentuating, revealing a layer of flirtation and desire. Revealing subtle hints of skin. Sometimes, the subtlest gestures can carry the most weight. Casually adjusting a strap to reveal a shoulder or twirling her hair, inadvertently displaying her neck, are actions that might seem insignificant but can be loaded with intent. Furthermore, the direction of one's feet can be a subconscious indicator of interest. If she's frequently pointing her feet or legs towards you, it's a classic sign of attraction, suggesting she's directing her attention and energy your way. So, you are now better equipped to spot her flirting cues. And for more insights, dive into subtle signs a woman is checking you out or explore what women with a high sex drive do. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. This is when and how to touch a woman, how she wants you to get closer. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Physical touch is a language of its own, and it can say more than a thousand words. But the question remains, when and how should you take that step? Today, we are unraveling the subtle art of touch, breaking down the barriers and understanding how to navigate this intimate frontier. By the end of this video, you will have a clear blueprint on how to approach physical closeness, ensuring that every gesture amplifies attraction and deepens connection. Ready to master the dance of touch and elevate your interactions? Let's dive right in. Seeking consent in the realm of dating, understanding and respecting boundaries is paramount. Always ensure that you are on the same page when it comes to physical touch. For instance, instead of just grabbing her hand, take a moment to ask, is it okay if I hold your hand? This simple gesture doesn't just show politeness, it demonstrates that you genuinely care about her comfort. Plus, it sets a tone of trust and mutual respect, 
prompting her to think, he respects my boundaries and values my feelings. Casual conversations, as your relationship progresses and you find yourselves in casual banter, your body language becomes an essential tool in conveying interest and comfort. Imagine you both are laughing about a shared joke experience, touching her upper arm briefly can be a subtle way to reinforce that connection. It's like saying, isn't this fun? I'm glad we're sharing this moment. Such a touch, when done right, can make her feel, his touch feels genuine, and it complements our conversation. Deep engagements, now, when conversations get deeper and more personal, your approach to touch should mirror that depth. If she's sharing a touching story or opening up about a personal experience, placing your hand over hers is a gesture that speaks volumes. It's your way of saying, I'm here, and I'm listening. Such moments can be pivotal in building trust. In those instances, she might feel, he's truly present with me, and that makes me feel safe and understood. Guiding through crowds, navigating through crowds can be a little bit overwhelming at times. So, gently placing your hand on the small of her back can act as a gentle guide, ensuring she doesn't get lost in the crowd. This subtle touch not only makes her feel safe and secure but communicates, I've got you. You're not alone in this. She will appreciate the protective gesture, understanding that your priority is her safety and comfort. Shared laughter, moments of laughter and joy are pivotal in any budding relationship. They lighten the mood and create cherished memories. During such a light-hearted moment, a quick touch on the shoulder can amplify that shared joy. It's kind of like you're saying, isn't this fun? I'm glad I'm sharing this moment with you. This gesture enhances your connection, letting her know that these shared experiences are what make your time together special. Comforting moments, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. There will be moments when she's down or upset. So, in these situations, offering a comforting hug or gently placing an arm around her shoulders can make a world of difference. But always ensure she's okay with it first. This kind of touch says, I'm here for you no matter what. It becomes a pillar of support, signaling that you're not just there for the good times but also the challenging ones too. She will feel seen, understood, and, most importantly, not alone in her struggles. Active listening, when she's talking, especially about something she's passionate about, she's letting you into her world. Actively listening to her is crucial, and sometimes a brief touch on her hand emphasizes that you are not just hearing words but truly engaging with her thoughts and feelings. This touch conveys, I'm here, I'm listening, I'm what you are saying matters to me. She will value this acknowledgement, recognizing that you genuinely care about her perspectives and her experiences. Dancing, dancing is a unique blend of rhythm, trust, and mutual connection. So, when you are on the dance floor, holding her waist or taking her hand allows for that intimate physical connection while still respecting her personal space. It's a delicate balance of leading and following, where you communicate, I'm in this moment with you. The dance becomes an unspoken conversation, allowing you both to move in harmony, understanding each other's movements and feelings. Walking side by side, when you are walking together, offering your arm is more than just a classic gesture. It communicates a sense of protection and partnership. Now, as she takes your arm, it's a shared acknowledgement of closeness without being overly possessive. This gesture says, we're in this journey together, and it gives her that comforting feeling of security, knowing you are right there beside her every step of the way. Complimenting, now, a compliment is a way of acknowledging her and showing appreciation. When you notice and compliment her on something specific, like her jewelry or attire, a gentle touch on the wrist or elbow can amplify your words. This touch is like underlining a written statement, it adds emphasis. It certainly communicates, I genuinely noticed, and I want to appreciate this about you. Such moments make her feel seen and valued, deepening the overall bond between you two. Emotional highs, emotions are contagious, and during moments of shared excitement or joy, gestures like high fives or playful nudges become the physical embodiment of those feelings. They are spontaneous reactions that say, we're in sync. These shared moments of elation build camaraderie and mutual understanding. It's as if both of you are exclaiming, isn't this great? I'm thrilled, you're here to experience this with me. Celebrating these highs together solidifies your connection and creates lasting memories. Celebratory moments, achievements and special occasions are milestones deserving of shared joy. In these triumphant times, a congratulatory hug or a hearty pat on the back communicates your pride and happiness for her. It's your way of saying, I see your success, and I'm happy for you. 
These physical gestures become bookmarks in the chapters of your shared journey, reminding her that you celebrate her highs as if they were your own. Reassurance, life's uncertainties often bring moments of doubt and hesitation. When she's grappling with such feelings, a gentle squeeze on the shoulder can be the anchor that she needs. It's a touch that tells her, I believe in you, even when you doubt yourself. Such gestures become the silent pillars of strength that she can lean on, reminding her that you are by her side. She's never alone in facing life's challenges. Building trust, trust is the bedrock of any deep connection. As it grows, the nature of your touches can evolve to be more intimate and tender. Gestures like brushing her hair away from her face or tucking it gently behind her ear are profoundly personal. They signal a comfort level that comes with time and shared experiences. These touches say, I cherish the closeness that we've built. It's a reflection of the trust that you've nurtured, allowing for such intimate moments to be shared and cherished. Watching movies or shows, there is something magical about the dim lights, the story unfolding, and the two of you seated side by side. As emotions ebb and flow with the plot, resting your hands on her knee or intertwining your fingers with hers adds an unspoken layer to the experience. This touch says that we're in this moment together. Whether it's a thrilling scene or a heart-wrenching one, your touch serves as a reminder that you are there, sharing every high and low with her. Admiration, genuine admiration is one of the most heartwarming feelings one can express and receive. When words of appreciation flow, enhancing them with a gentle touch on her face can magnify the sentiment. Such a gesture, when done with mutual comfort, conveys, I truly see you and value the beauty you bring to my life. It's an intimate moment where words and touch converge, creating a memory she will cherish. Shared journeys, life is filled with ups and downs, turns and twists. When she's navigating those literal steps, be it stepping out of a car or hopping over a puddle, extending your hands can be a timeless gesture of chivalry. This act is more than just assistance, it signifies, I've got you. It's a silent promise that whether the journey is smooth or a challenging one, you will always be by her side, lending a hand when needed. Leaving or parting, goodbyes, whether brief or extended, are laden with emotions. They are a pause, a moment to reflect on the time spent together. A warm, lingering hug in such moments is like placing a seal on the memories you've created. It whispers, until we meet again, carry this warmth with you. It's a reminder that even in the absence, the connection remains, waiting to be kindled the next time your paths cross. So, now that you've mastered the art of touch, delve into girls' body language when they like you or uncover the very subtle flirting signs that guys miss. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or anything else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics subscribe to the channel, let's continue. Ignoring women only works when. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Consider the strategy of ignoring a woman to build attraction. But when does this approach actually work to your advantage? Today, we're delving deep into the tactic of ignoring as a means of attraction. Now, it's a fine balance between keeping her intrigued and pushing her away entirely. By the end of this video, you will be well equipped to understand when and how to use this method effectively, ensuring that you not only capture attention but maintain it. Ready to explore the nuances of this fascinating strategy? Let's dive in. Genuine self-care, being genuinely immersed in self-improvement and personal growth can have an unintended attractive quality. Maybe you've been hitting the gym more, learning a new language, or diving into meditation. When you are engrossed in genuine self-care, it's not about ignoring her but being authentically invested in yourself. If she notices this, it may pique her interest thinking, he seems different, more focused. What's he been up to? Maintaining mystery, everyone loves a good mystery, including in relationships. Keeping certain aspects of your life to yourself initially can naturally intrigue her. This doesn't mean being secretive or deceptive but allowing things to unfold organically. Instead of laying everything out on day one, gradually share stories and experiences over time. Natural unavailability, having an independent life isn't a strategy, it's a desirable way of living. If you are genuinely busy with work, hobbies, or other commitments, it can show her that you're not just basing your entire life around dating. It might make her think, he's passionate about his work and hobbies. It's refreshing to see someone so dedicated. Resetting the dynamics, there are times in the early stages of getting to know someone where things might feel a bit off balance. Perhaps you've been the one always initiating, always reaching out. 
In such cases, taking a step back can certainly reset the dynamics of the budding relationship. Avoiding desperation, there's a thin line between showing interest and appearing desperate. Being available is good, but being too available can sometimes come across as if you have nothing else going on in your life. By ensuring you are not always immediately available, you create a sense of depth and multifacetedness. Upholding personal boundaries, every individual, including her, has different attractions and turn-ons. Some women appreciate men who can maintain clear boundaries and cherish their personal space. Demonstrating that you value your independence might make her respect and admire you more. Absence enhances fondness, it's a classic sentiment but holds true in many cases, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Now, this doesn't mean prolonged disappearances, but occasionally letting her miss you can be beneficial. Overcoming over-persistence, we've all been there, right? That initial burst of excitement where you might have gone a tad too far in showing interest. If you feel you've come on too strong, it's alright to take a step back. Emotional calibration, dating is an intricate dance of emotions. Sometimes, things get intense quickly, or you find yourself reacting strongly to situations. If you feel emotionally overwhelmed or believe that your reactions aren't aligning with the situation's gravity, it might be time for a pause. Reigniting the chase, there's an inherent thrill in the chase. Some women value the pursuit and the effort put into wooing them. If things have gotten predictable, switching up the dynamics by letting her take the reins might just reignite that initial excitement. Not as a manipulation tool, ignoring should never be a tactic to manipulate feelings or outcomes. Women can usually sense when they're being played, and ignoring her should come from genuine reasons like being caught up in work or needing personal space. Prioritizing clarity and honesty, always prioritize clarity and honesty to foster respect. At the heart of every meaningful connection is mutual respect. It's essential to show that while you value her and the time you spend together, you also respect yourself enough not to be available at a moment's notice all the time. Rekindling interest, in the intricate dance of attractions, sometimes the fire might dim a bit. A brief step back can serve as a reset button, giving both of you a chance to remember what drew you to each other in the first place. Balancing moments of distance with genuine engagement, ignoring isn't a standalone tactic. It's about contrast. Balancing moments of distance with genuine engagement creates a dynamic that keeps things fresh and unpredictable. Avoiding over-attachment, rapid, intense attachments can sometimes lead to relationships burning out just as quickly as they ignited. By pacing the connection and ensuring that you are not always available, you allow the relationship to breathe and grow at a more mature rate. Protecting personal space, a meaningful connection isn't about losing yourself but merging two distinct lives. Demonstrating that you value your personal space and time is not only healthy but can also be quite appealing. Showcasing self-worth, a man who knows his worth without being arrogant is undeniably magnetic. By not being perpetually available, you are subtly showcasing that you have a life, passions, and commitments beyond the relationship. Reassessing approach, not every approach works, and sometimes it's essential to recalibrate. If you feel that initial interactions didn't set the right tone or perhaps came on too strong, taking a momentary step back gives you the chance to reflect and come back with a fresh, more effective perspective. Now that you know when ignoring plays in your favor, dive deeper with, this proves that you are on her mind, or unravel the signs that she wants you to touch her. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to subscribe for more insights.